Yo, what's up guys? It's Boss Crasher here and right now I'm just doing some homework as always for my government class. I mean not government, economics class. And uh, you know, they they really give you a lot of homework every single night. Like literally every single night they make sure not to miss a single week weekday where they give you homework, especially over the freaking weekend. Like honestly, honestly guys, I have to rant about this. Homework. Why the hell does homework exist? Why? Like like what crazy person thought it'd be a great idea to give kids more work after school like I, like it doesn't make any sense all right so let me let me explain to you guys why homework is just so terrible and why the government needs to make changes to it right away because this is just unacceptable all right listen okay listen out loud all right all right good look guys look so i don't know if you know this or not okay government I, I know the government's watching this video because the government always watches everybody through their phones or cameras or whatever so there's pretty much no pr privacy at all in this world so i mean I, I definitely know they're watching this video and they're listening to it but of course they're not going to give a, a flying crap of what i'm going to say because obviously they don't care and you know if they really did they'd obviously make the changes but they don't and that's why homework still exists so anyways so let me give an educated rant on why homework is terrible all right so look Kids from all grades get homework, right? From from all the way from the first grade. I think homework starts in the first grade. I don't know. But all the way from the first grade to the 12th grade. Home, homework basically starts around that area, right? And honestly, let me just state the obvious here. It's stressful as hell, okay? Because think about it. Kids have to get up early in the freaking morning, like at 8 o'clock or something. Kids have to wake up very early for school, have to go to school, have to sit on their ass for eight hours, eight hour long days, unless you're a senior and you get shorter days. So I don't really go through too much of that. But I did go through it most of my life in so many years. So I'm, ju I'm just saying. But anyways, I was saying, kids, because kids have to always get up at eight o'clock. I've always had to get up too at eight o'clock, you know, during ninth, 10th, 11th grade. Well, not 10th because that was kind of around when COVID hit and I was just, I was kind of in online school. But regardless, I, I mostly had to get up every day. All kids have to get up every every single morning at 8 a.m. They have to go to school and they have to sit on their ass for eight long hours. They have to be at school for eight hours, just working, 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 learning a lot of useless bull crap that won't help us in the future, like math and, I don't know, geometry or algebra and all that other crap. And I can't do math to save my life. So I'm glad I don't take math anymore because math was just a hellhole of a subject to learn. I don't even know why we learned that. Like basic math, I get it. But all this complicated crap, why do we have to learn that? It doesn't make sense. Anyways, as I was saying. So yeah, we basically spend eight hours at school. We have to wake up early. We have to spend eight hours at school learning a bunch of bull crap. And then when we come home, we don't get a chance to rest because of homework. We have to continue working when we get home. It's bad enough that we have to wake up early in the morning and go to school for eight freaking hours working our asses off. But when we come home, we also have to keep working as well. What kind of bull crap is that? Like, come on. Like, seriously, home should be the place where you rest and you take a break from school. Home shouldn't be the freaking place for studying. That's what we have school for. Like, seriously, if you're going to give us homework and you're going to make us work from home, you should then you should basically just make us do school at home. We should all be homeschooled. But no, you want us to get up early, go to school for eight hours a freaking day, and you want us to come home, you want us to come back home already stressed out because of school, and you want us to keep on doing freaking homework for, like, hours, and it makes us, it, it literally keeps us up late at night like literally i remember some nights i would be stuck doing freaking homework because the homework would be just so freaking much we'd have to do paragraphs essay it's kind of like this class. this class gives us like an essay every freaking night so we have to stay up all night trying to do these stupid essays and everything and then we end up sleeping super late at like freaking midnight and then we have to get up the next day early in the morning like how could you put kids through this how education system why in the world would you put kids through this bullcrap what's wrong with you do you guys not have a heart do you guys not understand where we're just freaking kids and teenagers that we need rest too don't don't school pe don't school people say that we need eight hours of sleep well we can't get those eight hours of sleep because we're busy doing homework that you give us every freaking night like what like it's, it's just stupid it's stupid that they literally make you come home and continue doing work after you just had such a long freaking day at school after you literally had an entire day where you're literally uh, where you literally already worked so freaking much and now you you're still not done because you still have to work when you get home it's ridiculous it's it simply just be you get up you go to school you do all of the work there and there should be no homework you should just wait the next day till you get more work how could you put kids through this to the point where they have to go to school and, and do so much work and then they come back home and they still have to do a lot of work it shouldn't be like that like it shouldn't be like that kids have to c come back after a long stressful day at school 
and have to continue to be stressed because of homework. And they end up staying very late at night because they have to do their homework. And then they don't get enough sleep because they're up late at night finishing the homework. And then they have to wake up early and then they just go to school all drained out and so freaking sleepy. And they end up doing, they end up doing poor on all of their assignments and tests and, and classwork because they're, they're literally not getting enough sleep. So like like you guys you guys cannot get mad that that a kid doesn't do his isn't isn't functioning well at school or isn't doing the, their homework correctly because you're literally draining them and overloading them with so much freaking homework and they don't get a chance to sleep because they always end up staying very late at night trying to finish your freaking homework and they're literally drained out like they're just kids what else do you expect from them we're not freaking robots we're human beings and, and it's unhealthy for us to be up this late doing homework and freaking overloading us with so much crap and just stressing us the hell out and then teachers want to get mad at you mad at a freaking kid that they're not doing their work correctly or that they're not doing great in school why do you think why do you think your student isn't doing great at school because you overload them with freaking work why else it's literally your fault they're doing bad at school because you overload the crap out of them when they get home kids literally kill themselves because of homework they literally suffer because of homework i i suffered a lot because of homework too like i it, it literally puts kids through hell through absolute hell like literally because like you like you know how kids get, get in trouble that they don't do their homework or that they're they're slacking or that they do it late at night and they get a beating for it or they get grounded and punished you're literally making kids lives a nightmare and you guys are aware of this too you guys just love to make kids life or children's life a nightmare which is why you give them homework so they can just suffer at school so their mother so their parents could just beat them up if they don't do their homework on time and every time they ask them for help they never want to help so they end, end up just getting beaten more and more and it's just a, it's just a whole freaking mess and everything you guys know what you're doing with this homework crap you, you guys just invented homework to make kids cry and suffer and hate their lives that's exactly why you guys give homework it's not to help us it's not to help us in a real way it's not to help us actually learn hell no because school isn't about learning it's simply just about passing it's literally just about passing it's not about learning anymore once you pass like the fifth or fourth grade it's literally just about passing Liter that literally just about passing because without school pretty much they just kick you out because you because they, they see you as dumb because you simply just didn't pass their course but no it's not about learning once again it's about passing it's literally about passing and so, like they literally hold you back if you, if you don't if you don't pass like a grade like why why do you have to hold us back just because we don't pass a grade luckily i'm passing so i'm good but why do you have to hold, hold back other students just because they're not they're not passing a grade that just shows you that it's not about learning because if it was about learning they wouldn't have the need to hold you back like why are they holding you back like what's the purpose of holding somebody back like if they've already learned enough why are you holding them back it's because you just want to make kids suffer that's why the education sh the education the education system is bullshit they just want to make kids suffer that's why they added homework because it makes kids suffer even more because they have to come back home and still do work still do work after a long eight hour day where kids are already working when they come home they still have to do work they still have to do freaking work it doesn't make sense when we get home we should be able to rest or sleep we should be able to just rest after all the stress we go through from working so hard and, and being for school all freaking day but no you just you just want to keep us stressed you just want to keep us stressed to freak out, which is why you give us homework and more work when we come home. I mean, seriously, especially over the weekend. Sometimes teachers just love to give out homework during the weekend. They love to do it. They love to see these kids suffer and cry and just freaking just freaking get tortured all weekend long. All they, the teachers just love it. Maybe not all teachers, but the, the education system just loves to see that. And you guys want to try to defend school and say it, they help us? No, they don't help us. They just make our lives miserable. And you can't deny that. You literally can't. You can't deny that. Okay? They're not helping us. They're ruining our lives. They, they ruin our lives. They, 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 sometimes it's ruined my life for the past years or so because I've gone through hell when I don't, don't turn on my work in time or I can't do my homework because it's too freaking late. It's torture. This is freaking torture. This is illegal. This is illegal. But of course, the government can get away with it because they're the government and they can get away with everything. I mean, like, this isn't what school is supposed to be. School is supposed to be a fun place where you can learn interesting things. And, and it's supposed to make you want to go to school. You, it, like, it's supposed to make kids want to be motivated to go to school and learn awesome things. But no, the government has turned it into some type of prison where every kid must go to and every kid must go to and must pass be, before they can move on in life. Because if you don't go to school, you get taken away. If you don't go to school, you get taken away from your parents and you, your parents get, like, locked up or something. 
Yeah, you can you if you if you're like a parent and you don't take your kid to school, you can get arrested. Why? Why why is it like that? Like why why can't they just say, "All right, you don't want to send your kid to school, fine. Then just make sure to, to teach him everything he needs to know about the world." Why can't why can't they be like that? Why are you forcing parents to send your kid to a prison? And I'm going to call it prison because school is literally prison if that's how the rules are. Like that's like seriously. Like if you're if you're being this forced to go to school, it's literally a freaking prison. It feels like a prison for kids. It literally freaking does. And like, like I don't know. I, it's just it, it, I'm so glad that I'm a senior and I'm about to graduate from this hellhole because holy crap, I worked so many of my years to get to this point, and I'm finally gonna be free from torture, from lack of freedom, from from freaking everything. Because holy crap, school is really just a prison. Like seriously. And it shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be that kids hate school and they're afraid of school and they want to stay away from it. It, it shouldn't be like that. It should be a fun place to learn fun and and helpful things that will actually help us in, in the future. And I'll be honest, some of my classes, like like my economics class does actually teach me some pretty helpful things like credit cards and stocks and stuff like that. But for, for my whole life, I've never been taught this, which I, which, which I should. They should be teaching young kids like stuff about this so they can have knowledge about it and so when they grow older they can know way more about it so that way they can be way, way more prepared for the future but no well like well like why did why did you think it was a good idea to, to teach kids useless crap like like math and history who who needs to know about history who needs to know about who gives a flying crap about history nobody nobody cares about history maybe except for all the nerds who just love history and love to learn math and and science and crap like that why do we need to know that why are you teaching kids this useless this useless stuff that's not going to help them why you're not teaching kids anything this is all, all this this bull crap that you're teaching us we're literally going to forget about it like, like, we're literally going to forget about it when we grow up and we graduate from school all right, because I've learned math from for my whole life, and I never got it. It just caused me stress and hell in my life. It it made me want to freaking jump off a, a a freaking cliff and 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 just seep all the way underground just so I can escape school. It made my life miserable. I freaking hated it. It 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 it, it just freaking dragged me down, and it made me feel like I was living in hell, and it felt like an absolute nightmare. All right, and I took math for freaking ever, 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 and I just like I, I luckily I passed it, but it was it was just terrible freaking terrible and i literally don't remember anything from math nothing you know why because it, it doesn't matter it's useless that's why i don't need to remember anything from math because it's useless and i'm sure you guys any graduates out there don't remember math either unless you're a mathematician and that's where you're growing up to be but like you literally don't remember half of the crap you learned in high school you don't remember any type of math history science nothing kids don't re kids literally don't remember anything they learned from school because it's all useless and, and baseless stuff that they don't need to know it's not interesting at all it's just random unnecessary filler bullcrap that you teach kids for no reason like why do we have to learn about fractions and geometry and and shapes and and all this complicated ma complex math bullcrap that, that we don't need to know that's not going to help us why do we need to learn learn about history about these old ass people that that that, that we, we literally don't know and don't exist anymore like why can't we just leave that crap in the past why do we have to learn about history why who cares about history and why do we have to learn about so much science and yes i know once again basic basic science is good basic math is good because it teaches you basic stuff like adding subtracting you sometimes you i guess you need to know that in order to get it to get ahead in school or i don't know maybe to help somebody with the project and in your basic science like natural resources and electricity i guess that's good to learn too but i'm talking about the complex stuff the stuff that gets way too complicated the stuff that only freaking scientists and mathematicians should know why do we need to learn that why it doesn't make any sense maybe for people who want to be a mathematician or a scientist yeah but not all of us want to be mathematicians not all of us want to be scientists not all of us want to do these these stupid ass these stupid ass careers when we grow up we, we all have a different career we want to do none of not all of us want to be the same thing so why do we have to do all these stupid scientific experiments for what why the, the only reason why we do all this freaking work is so we can escape the stupid freaking hellhole that you call school that's it